Hi everyone. Just finished cleaning out my uh, fridge and doing a food prep uh, for my work week. I actually only have to work two long days this week. So um, anyway, I will show you what I have here. I started putting um, spinach and salads in these uh, mason jars. Uh, I've got two full salads made for the next couple of days, um, which I've added chicken to as well. I have cut up cheese here so I can easily grab that if that's what I feel like having for a snack. In this bin here, I have things that are ready to go for my lunches. I've got um, yogurt and berries, coleslaw, carrots, cottage cheese, and in that container in the back, I have some hard boiled eggs. Um, it's okay to have some empty space here, so that's that part's good. Um, up here on the top shelf, in the dairy thing, I have some extra cottage cheese there. In this container here, right now I've got um, green onions, but uh, I normally keep uh, celery in there, and it keeps it nice and fresh as well. Um, I've got containers for the eggs, um, some bread in here, two different types, and um, I'll put that back there. Veggies in here, which I've labeled. Right now I don't have too much. I've got sweet potatoes and mushrooms there and fruits on this side. I've got uh, apples, uh, some clementines and some pomelos. And and the, um, I don't call it, cheese and meat drawer. I've got a selection of meats in the back. I've got uh, some extra condiments an extra thing of butter, uh, but things easy to grab, ready to go for work. Um, here's one of the doors here. I've been trying to use up all my mustard and things, condiments that have expired. Here's the other side here. Um, some of the things I don't use, I actually gave to my son, so he says he might use those. And in the freezer here, I have uh, veggies and fruits on one side and meat on the other. And I've used magazine uh, holders here to separate them. I've got actually fish and uh, a few things of steak or uh, I think it's just steak there. And then uh, bacon and pepperettes and chicken and more pepperettes and some ribs and some leftover turkey, um, some meatballs. And on the top layer here, uh, because my uh, water and ice cube dispenser are not hooked up, I have to make my own ice cubes. And I put in two of these um, kitchen, uh, not kitchen, uh, fridge organizers. Um, so the ice cube tray sits very nicely right there and I can put some stuff underneath. Um, I don't eat a lot of bread. What I do have here, I keep frozen. Um, these are pre-cooked um, meals that I can just grab for work if I feel like it. Um, some chili, uh, some las gluten-free lasagna and um, gluten-free turkey casserole. And some ribs there, and of course the ice cream. That's not necessarily gluten free, but, um, and then I've got sandwich meat here, which I don't tend to grab for very often, but uh, that's there and some extra cheese. So um, that's it for my fridge tour at this time. I uh, hope you like it. Um, I hope this gives you some ideas on how to organize your fridge. Um, please like and subscribe if you like this. I'll see you in the next video.